Okay. That was pathetic. Like, what else do you guys want me to say? Oh yeah, by the way, don't mind my brother here. Um, he's just vibing, so don't uh, really, like, well, be too bothered by him. Just, just leave him be. Yeah. He just wants to vibe with his music. Only I had a magnetic stand for this, but to the point. Bubba, I don't even know if I should be that mad at Bubba because that, in the end, benefited Kyle Larson, a podium finish. Um, or maybe I should be upset because, well, that screwed Truex out of a win and it served another undeserving victory for Denny Hamlin on a silver platter. And yet I get hogged, or Denny hogs another Richmond victory that he otherwise would have had no chance in hell of acquiring. It was two laps left. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Denny, not Denny, Truex had it straight into the bag, all tied up in a knot, and it just got away because of that stupid clusterfuck at the end. Didn't help seeing that Kyle Larson and Truex getting into a bit of a scuffle after the fucking race, but I mean, yeah, that digress. But I can at least give a shout out or uh, give credit to Bubba Wallace for actually apologizing to Kyle Larson for dumping him, and then uh, Kyle Larson jokingly said that it actually benefited him at the end of the race, saying, well, I can't be upset over a podium finish. If Kyle Larson's happy, then I'm happy. No use in bitching about a podium placement, or placement, no use in, in bitching about Kyle Larson finishing in the podium when he was falling out of the podium when it was still the green flag, but overall the race wasn't really, I wouldn't say it was the most exciting race in the world, but I did enjoy myself there, I mean, it was a ridiculous finish, but at least it was still entertaining to photograph some shots there in the night. It was still, I did still enjoy myself at Richmond. It, Richmond is pretty fun in the night, and it still is fun in the night, honestly. I think we should just keep it at one Richmond night race and the other at the daytime to keep it balanced out. I would prefer it if the spring race was in, at daytime and the second race, whether in summer or fall, was in the night, but I digress. But, yeah, I definitely have seen better, and this is just another tedious case of NASCAR's whoopsies, so... There isn't really much else to unpack other than a big hell yeah to Kyle Larson finishing in the podium. Another good finish for Chase Elliott, blah, blah, blah. I believe Bowman finished fourth, I think. No, that was true, actually. But he finished somewhere, like, around the top five or top six. I'll have to check again. Thank you for taking almost four minutes out of your life to watch this video. Hope you all have been taking it easy. Have a great day.